So, we've seen how awkward it can feel and how difficult it can be to challenge behaviour that can make you feel uncomfortable as a passenger. Not always easy, is it? Hmm. Especially when it's someone close to you, like a mate. Sometimes, however, it's the driver that needs to challenge their passengers to help keep everyone safe. In our final scenario, four mates get a lift home from college in Charlie's new car. Charlie only passed a month ago, and although they love their new freedom, Charlie's still a bit nervous. Two of them hop in the back, and Taryn jumps in the front. Charlie notices that everyone belts up straight away, except Taryn, who is already syncing their phone to the car. Charlie knows that they are responsible for everyone in that car, and as they need to get going, decides to speak up. Taryn's quite embarrassed, immediately laughs it off and starts to think, it's their choice, what if they don't put their seatbelt on? But Charlie might stop offering lifts. Ugh, that would mean getting the bus. And what about their friendship? Taryn's known Charlie for years. They don't want to lose that. What if they do end up in a crash? Uh -oh. Taryn hates the thought of hitting the dashboard or windscreen. If they're seriously injured, they could end up missing the rest of term, all of the stuff they had plans, birthdays, parties, holiday. Mm -hmm. Taryn decides it's best to face a bit of embarrassment over any of those things. Cracks a joke. Yeah, you're right, mate. I've seen your driving. And puts on their seatbelt. So, as you can see, some of the simple strategies we've explored today, including humour, can help make us all safe on the road. By working together to meet the UN Sustainable Development Goals and learning how we can prevent death or injury on the roads, we can collectively make the world a better place.